And oh man, I am so grateful and indebted to the Detroit Lions for gifting the Packers an early Christmas gift. What is that? I'm going to break that down for you guys in this video. Before I do, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's get into it. If you haven't heard the news, which I'm sure most of you guys have already, Jared Goff just became a very rich man. Okay, so it says right here in the article, Jared Goff just became a much richer man this Monday after the Detroit Lions inked their quarterback to a mammoth contract extension. Goff agreed to a four-year $212 million contract, which includes $170 million guaranteed. Of course he agreed to that. Why would he not agree to that? This deal now has him as the second highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Man, oh man, that makes me so happy. As, as a Packer fan, as somebody that grew up just despising the Detroit Lions, this makes me so happy because the Lions were trending so well. Okay. You can't, Brad Holmes is a great general manager. He is turning things around in that program, but he's done stuff this past off season. That's making me question um, some things, I'm not saying question his ability to draft years or his credibility as a general manager. I think he's one of the best GMs in the league. However, when you start signing three guys and you have $444 million wrapped up and inked up into three guys on this roster team just to retain these guys. So kudos to the Lions for going in and retraining some of these guys. But do you do it at the expense of, of just putting yourself in a uh, a cap purgatory? They sign uh, Amara St. Brown, Jared Goff, and Panay Sewell. All three of those guys, again, total to $404 million in contract extensions this past offseason. I am super happy about that because that's going to limit. They're going to they're gonna run into a point where they're going to want to sign some guys that they won't be able to because all of their money is wrapped up into, especially when we're talking about Jared Goff. Okay, so what warranted Jared Goff getting that contract? And, and so let's take a look at the numbers here. Okay, so last season, he had a very successful last season. His completion percentage was 67. He had uh, over 4,500 yards passing, 30 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and a passer rating of 97. That's really good. It's, it, it is really good. But does it warrant getting paid the second highest in the NFL when we start talking about across the boards? And, and we're going to take a look at you know, just some of those quarterbacks out there just talk about them because as it stands right now, honestly, if I were to give, give you like, where do I think Jared Goff is uh, amongst the current NFL quarterbacks, not including rookies. Okay. Not including the guys that just came into the league. I honestly would have this guy 15th or 16th on the list in the league. I think he's, he's a very middle of the road So why do you think the Rams got rid of this guy? Okay, because he he couldn't get them over the hump. And why do you think the predecessor to Jared Goff in uh, in Matthew Stafford is a, you know, we, we signed with the Rams and then they, they he takes them to to the Super Bowl because he's a better quarterback and he's making much more money. Of course, there's an age difference, all of that good stuff there. I understand that, but if you take a look at you know 2019 for the Rams. Just uh, you know, two years previously to him leaving and departing from the Rams to go to Detroit, he had 4,600 yards, 22 touchdowns, 16 picks. The year before that, 4,600 yards, 32 touchdowns, 12 picks, and then it's very it's a better year than he had last season. And then he had 101 passer rating, so he had a, a better year in 2018 than he did in 2023. It's the weapons that Detroit has that made his numbers so sexy last season because you've got you've got guys like um Sam Laporta there. You know, what a what a signing for the Lions getting Laporta there. Now you're gonna have to resign that guy at some point, but you know, uh, you're gonna where where's your is your money gonna go with the four players? Uh, I just think this is absolutely funny to me. I love it because. They signed him to four-year, two hundred twelve million. Again, one hundred and seventy of that is guaranteed. Fifty-three million dollars a year. Again, I would take fifteen guys in the league, maybe even sixteen in the guys uh, of the guys in the league over Jared Goff. And Packer fans, I want you to weigh in. Leave your comments. Let me know uh, a what you think of this signing. I think this is hilarious because one of the guys that's better than him is in our league is in the North and he's, he happens to belong to the Packers and is Jordan love. Yes. I do know that Jordan love only has one year under his belt, but again, 
you got to take the upside, especially with the the way that the NFL is changing. You got to have a guy that's going to be mobile. You got to have a guy that's going to be able to do more than just be a pocket passer. Because here's the thing, Jerry, is all you got to do is put some pressure on this guy, and he's gonna he's gonna inevitably uh, just make some in air throws. Okay, he proved that throughout his career, not just last season. And if you remember last season, the line started to dip right before the playoffs. And yes, they did gain their momentum back in the playoffs. And this is a very good Detroit Lions team. But man, as a Packer fan, you've got to be incredibly happy because I don't think Jared Goff is that good. There's a reason why the Rams gave him up. Okay, so I think it's just a matter of time. And I actually think you might see that happen this year because the Lions maybe exceeded what everybody's expectations were for this team. And I'm not talking about Lions fans. I'm talking the NFL in general had had you know, maybe not to put as much respect into this Detroit Lions team as they went out there and did. There's this, you know, they have this chip on their shoulder. They're this blue collar um, team that went out there and, and just, you know, played tough defense, uh, 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 just hard nosed football. And then, you know, again, they worked their way into the playoffs and then had a very good standing in the playoffs. Now I think they had, I'm going to get, 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 get ahead of myself here, but I am, Super grateful for this because I think Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions take a step back. I think the Packers overtake them in, in uh, you know, just the division. And I think even after this season, you're going to have teams putting pressure on Jared Goff. And then, you know, the team is feeling like, oh my gosh, what did we do? Why did we sign this guy for so much money? Because now we are handcuffed to Jared Goff. Now we are handcuffed to... Um, this guy for the next four years, unless we can somehow offload him. And that's not going to happen. Do I think that Jared Goff is a quarterback? I think he's a decent quarterback, but I think he's like, he's, he's along those lines of a high 30, you know, like a 38 million, maybe a $40 million contract, uh, you know, yearly contract in today's NFL. Not $53 million, not $170 million of it guaranteed. So what does that mean for Jordan? Love. Jordan Love is yet to be signed out there. So uh, what is his contract look? Man, the Lions set the bar incredibly high. Just uh, Obviously, Burrow is the highest paid quarterback out there, just, just ahead of Jared Goff in Detroit. Packer fans, leave your comments. So are you as thrilled about this signing as I am? Because I think this is going to be potentially – one of the domino effects that starts, you know, the pieces falling in Detroit. I think they spent way too much money to keep Jared Goff. I mean, honestly, if they would have let him go and built through the draft, Jared Goff, I mean, again, I don't I don't know how many other teams out there are going to be itching to get this guy. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Go pack go.